coming at you from my redstone world where we're going to talk about memory cells and RAM. This is a memory cell. It is a locking repeater memory cell. So basically the output is the lamp there and the input is the line and it gets no input. So basically you keep the line on and then you unlock it and lock it again. That's called clocking it. So we clocked it and then there we have the output of the line independent of the line. So you don't have to have the line on to get its output. This is RAM right here. It is basically just a combination of memory cells. And if you'll notice, I have a locking repeater here leading to an output. Okay, so we'll say that these are our, our lines in. So these will be our inputs. Let's go ahead and do this here. Now our output is over here and you'll notice nothing is on those lines. There is no direct link between this line and that line. So basically what I would do is I would have to clock this data, this information, into one of these registers. So let's put it on the last register. And you'll notice that we've got that right there. And then we can take that off of this line. And then if we come up here, we can read what's on that register out. And if we wanted to, we could do other combinations of these and put them in other registers. So if you'll notice, I gave each of the registers a different combination. There is nothing on the line. I can come over here and read them out one at a time and that is basically what a RAM does. You might be asking yourself why on earth would I need something like this and I'll tell you if you're not big into a lot of redstone you know if you don't do really big projects you're never going to need something like this. If uh, if you do, however, do really big projects, you may may need something like this. I've only got one build that actually needed it, and that's my ATM. And the only reason I needed it was because of the uh, password changing capability of it. So we're going to get into a few things here. Uh, real quick, coding and decoding. Uh, I've talked about it before, but basically you're just putting a combination of the lines being on and off onto uh, a set number of lines. So this first one here, this is my card reader. Basically, basically that that picks up a uh, an item, and once the item is caught in the chest, it just turns this one on and none of the others. And the next chest, and you can see they've all got different combinations. And so that's basic coding of the lines. And here we have the card reader hooked into the rest of the ATM over here. They are coded just the same onto these four lines, but these four lines are a bus here. Uh, later, if you actually get to the point where you want to build the RAM for yourself and play around with it, let me know in the comments and I will possibly make a video describing what I learned about using a bus in conjunction with the RAM to get the RAM to function with other devices. So here is where the bus comes up and runs alongside the RAM. Okay, And each of these runs to the registers below and tells them, hey, put your, put your information on the lines above. So these are the read addresses. And we're going to each of the combinations that are placed on those lines down there of the lines being on or off are read out here. So this one, okay, if this line is on and the other three are off, this one's on, that torch is off, and the other three are off, those repeaters are off, there is no power on this line. And that torch is lit, which puts that registers information up here on these lines. The reason I went over this 
is because without the capacity to code and decode these lines there is no use for this RAM because that's basically what you're holding here is that code so if you're not going to be using that code then you're not going to be using any RAM so first thing I'm going to do is start with a single line okay so we got this line here we got redstone running across it and then we're going to come off of it down here and we're going to go ahead and take a repeater coming out and that's going to be your locking repeater okay and then you'll put a block that it's going to power up it does not have to be a lantern I like to use these lanterns because you can come in and easily see uh, what uh, information is on each each of the registers so you go ahead and do that and then you come out two more and there's your locking repeater okay so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do this again and again and again on down the line so one two three repeater repeater torch and then the rest of it and your single line should look something like that now this is each one of these is a register okay so as many different uh, pieces of information you want on this thing you can put on it you just have to make sure you place a repeater in here so if you were going to place a repeater somewhere along this line you would make sure that it is not on this block the block with the repeater coming out of it if I put <clears throat> a repeater on that block now this block is not powered and that is not going to take power but this block or this block are fine and this here is exactly why I spaced the the uh, lines as far apart as I did as you can see with that there you have enough space to get in here and do what you need to do so I'm gonna go ahead and make this just like the other one with four separate lines make sure all of your lines however many you're gonna make and as long as you're gonna make them that they are identical to one another and once you're at this point we're gonna go ahead and tower onto each of them like so so that this dust will be on when this light is on at this point you're going to want to connect all these lines and you're going to want to make sure you do it in the right direction okay you don't want to connect this way you want to go with the lines that you have beneath at this point you would want to make sure that all of your torches are underneath the top lines and that the top lines all have redstone along them and at any point you need to place a repeater that these repeaters are facing the proper direction that you want your output to go and that they are not on above a, uh, a torch so here I went ahead and placed levers for the inputs to the lines in I changed the color of one of them that way you can tell that when the lines coming in way down there say on off on they say it from this side not from that side and then you'll see at the top I also put lights for the outputs with the same signifying color change so those were your lines in and out now we're going to uh, make your address lines uh, the first thing we're going to do is we'll say that when you're coming in okay these lines here your in lines those are your right lines because if you're putting it into the memory you're writing to the RAM these are your read lines because if you're sending it out you're reading what's on that so we're going to make the address lines and what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to place a block on each torch like that and like this and if you have an uneven number of lines 
uh, you can just do this to to one of them by themselves. Like if I really, really wanted to, I could put this over here and have each one individually. But we're going to have to come up and out with this. And with each, each time you go in, I want to get two. So I don't want to have to come in each line, if you get my gist. So we'll do the same thing here with this over here. So if you'll see, I gave each of them a block in the middle. And then we're going to go ahead and come up like this. And then like, you know, we'll come up one more there like that. And then we'll connect these up. and repeaters on that and that facing that way and then we'll dust this all the way across there and there and you want to make sure that you have enough space here to get all four of these with the same signal. So I'm going to come here in the center and we need this to be a torch coming into it. So there we go and you'll see that it hits all of them and the significance of this is that it locks these torches off. So whatever is on these torches will not shine through to these lines. So then we'll go ahead and do this to the rest of them here. And there we have that part. Those are the reading addresses. We'll go ahead and throw a lever on each of those. So that right there is already set up to where if there were lights on any of these you could turn them on over there. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come in from below and hit the right addresses. And you want to do that by hitting the torches. And I'm going to go, I'm going to use glass, okay? You don't have to use glass, but if you don't use glass, you have to use slabs or glowstone. And do that. There and there. Make sure you do that at each of the torches for the, for the same address. And we're going to go ahead and come down here and here. Bring this down. And we're going to run this all up with dust. And now, just to show you, we can go ahead and give this a right. Oh yeah, don't forget to turn that off again. Otherwise, those will stay exactly what's on the lines. But then we can write it, and then we can read it. So let's go ahead and make this on the rest of the other three registers. So here it is, 100% finished. And to show you, we will go ahead and clock a few, a few uh, separate combinations in here. And now we can read them separately. One, two, three, and four. Now there are separate functions that you can do for this. You can make it to where uh, you can push a button and make all of these clear. Um, it's, it's easy to do if you have the proper circuit 
circuits. Uh, if you're pretty good at redstone and you get to playing with this, I'm sure you can figure out how to do it yourself. Uh, I watched a video that showed how to make a single memory cell and put it together to make a RAM and it was with pistons which I did not like using so I decided to make my own memory cell with locking repeaters and make my own RAM out of it and that's what this is I'm sure you can make one smaller uh, there are videos out there on how to make other ones for different for different things this works pretty quick it works on bedrock uh, yeah if you like this video, go ahead and leave a like. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. If you know anybody else who will like this stuff, go ahead and share my content. And I will see you on the flip side. Peace.